What's up, everybody? Mark from RBI Breaks. It is 9.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. We are breaking. What are we breaking right now? We are breaking a 2021 Topps Series 2 half hanger case. This is the 32 box break, and it is FM number 2 S2. So that is FM number 2 S2, which is the Facebook members number 2, the second break, and series 2. Just so everybody knows that they're in the right break, um, so they can see all the hits that they get in the correct break. Uh, obviously, this is a Facebook group, so not, or Facebook group. Um, so I imagine that everyone in here is has seen one of our breaks before. Uh, real quick, because I throw it on every uh, break. Uh, what you're looking at your screen, the main screen is where I'll break the cards. Behind it is the grandstand where I'll be putting the hits from the cards. Uh, it's a three-tier stand. On the top tier, I'll be putting four of the designated rookies for series two that we have that will be immediately put into a penny sleeve and into a grade ready card saver so you're getting a true pack fresh case fresh grade ready card flagship rookie that is upper right hand corner is the product cam again live streaming camera in real time i'll be pulling from that uh, so you'll always know where we are in the break and in the upper left hand corner is the overhead cam so everything stays on camera during the entire break. The way I'm going to do the break is there are four sleeves uh, of eight hanger boxes in each. Uh, I'm going to do one sleeve at a time, eight boxes, break them down, break down the packs, pull out the hits, uh, sleeve up the rookies, and keep the break moving like that. Uh, if anybody has any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them up in the chat. Uh, you just want to talk, I'm more than willing to chat. Uh, at the same time, I will keep the break moving. Um, with that being said, I wish everybody the best of luck. And we are going to get started with some Series 2. Hey, what's up, James? Let's go Nats. You got it. Let's check out the Nats. So far, our experience has been, um, well, we've opened, I opened a half a case last night, and Phil opened a half a case today, and it seems to be a little bit more hit-heavy uh, than Series 1, at least from what we can tell. Uh, it looks like we've definitely gotten more, I <laughs> really hit a home run. It's, uh... That's going to drive some prices up crazy, I'll tell you that. Um, the Series 2 seems to be a little bit more hit-heavy, like I said. Um, Phil opened the same amount as I did. He hit the 10 golds, where we hit 6 normally in Series 1. Uh, he hit a lot of the foil boards. I think I hit 5 last night. I think he hit 10. I don't even know how, I don't even know how he hit 10. But I believe he had 10. Um, so it looks like it's pretty hit heavy for whatever reason. I heard that they definitely had a hard time printing it. So that could be how there's more hits in it. There's less being printed. But we'll find out because we are going to start ripping it. Uh, I forgot to mention those four players that will be put into sleeves. And gradable card savers is Jazz Chisholm. Jake Cronenworth, Cabrian Hayes, and Alex Kirloff. Those are the four players in base form. As soon as we get them, will be put into a sleeve and a grade-ready card saver. I will be making, of course, that secondary pile of cards that I do normally in all my breaks, and which will be sleeved and packaged separately after the main sort. So again, four sleeves, eight hanger boxes in each, 
I'm going to break them down. You guys know. Let me uh, brighten up the camera a little bit here. We got a little, a little dark here. There we go. All right, here we go. to start. Let me take the autofocus off because it's annoying. Jazz Chisholm on the top of the pack. Let me take autofocus off. Here we go. So the eBay Wander Franco. Oh, that's good. Clay, you have the uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, you got the Marlins. All right, you you have the first card out of the uh, out of the box. I imagine eBay is absolutely going nuts at Wander Franco sales right now. Probably just absolute insanity. What was the break from four hours ago? That was the letter. That was Phil's break, the other uh, RBI break south. That's the other half of RBI breaks, Phil. I believe his was P P1. He might have named it P1. P for Phil. One. Uh, it should be next to his listing um, where you claim the teams. I thought it was a second time. Get this started right away. Again. Immediately put into a penny sleeve and grade ready card saver. Jazz Chisholm on the grandstand right away. Yeah, Joseph, Phil broke his, uh, I think at 5 o'clock? Yeah, four hours ago. Yeah. Uh, yep, it's, uh, it's on the Facebook page, and it'll be uploaded to our YouTube channel also tonight, so... No, he only hit, he hit the home run in his third at bat. Ah, not impressed. All right, here we go. This is the first sleeve, first hanger. What? First sleeve, the first eight hanger boxes of the break. I wish everybody the best of luck. Uh, again, I'll go a little slow to start because it's new for all of us, and then I'll pick it up as we get going here. Get everything dialed in there. That looks good to me. There's a Jared Walsh 
cup card for the angels. Again, I'll be making a secondary pile of cards that he goes on it. Um, so he's batting 500. That's not bad. Here we got a kill off again. Flagship rookie immediately. Hey Francisco. Yep, the uh, the series two truck finally showed up. Here is, as before, there were 52 redos. Now they did 65 for Series 2 redos. This is the Chrome version that was the same as the 52 Chrome. You see about one every three to four hanger boxes. Um, this is a 65 Chrome of Nolan Arenado on the Cardinals. Rainbow Foil, Jorge Palanco for the Twins. The 70 Years of Tops inserts set is back with a bunch of rookies in it. 86, and these are the 65 papers. I'm not a big fan of the landscape cards. Um, could have been worse. It could have been a landscape card, and he wasn't at bat. It was he's fielding, so I guess Josh Jung. Oh, that's not Josh Jung. That's Sam Huff for the Rangers. Stuck in my Bowman mind. Yeah, the, uh, I imagine, that, like I said, that Wander Franco market right now is red hot. And, and will be only more hot tomorrow. Another Jazz Chisholm. Two for two, Clay. Yeah, they split the 86s. It's a 100 card set, but the 86 itself is 50, and then the 86 All Star is 50 to make up the 100 cards, but. I don't believe there's any rookies in the All-Star set. I think they're all veterans and Hall of Famers. So it shrunk the rookies down to 50 cards, which means you're going to well, not necessarily see them more, but they, when you hit an 86, there's more of a chance that it's going to be a, uh, a rookie. Here's a nice 65 Chrome Joe Adele rookie. For the Angels, very nice hit off the start. Sixty-five Chrome Joe Adele rookie. Nice start for the Angels. There is uh, there's no chance 
I pro- I'll, I'll, I'll take anybody. I'll give I'll give anybody uh, whatever they want. A uh, hundred to one odds that Wander Franco is an update. There's no chance. None. Zero. Zach Birdie, Rainbow Foil. He is an absolute stone cold lock for 2022 Series One. Zero, zero. I repeat, zero chance he's an update. Not even point zero zero one. Zero chance. Cabrian Hayes, eighty six rookie for the Pirates. Yeah, them that. There, there's no chance he's a hundred and ten percent in series one next year. Get your pre-orders in now because it's probably going to be three thousand dollars a case for hobby. It, it's going to be just ridiculous. I was actually talking to my distributor today uh, about series one, and you know. Because obviously everybody is anticipating. Everybody knows he's going to be in Series One. There, there, there is really, there is no chance he's an update. No. It would be the tops. It would be, it would be suicide for tops to put him in update. There's, there's a zero advantage to put him in update. There's a Cabrian Hayes. And uh, my distributor. I was talking about allocations, and we're already starting about that. So, I mean, we're not even in pre-order section. We still got two months to pre-order, um, but I, I can't imagine they're going to allocate series one. I mean, they could. It could be that crazy with his stuff in there. Um, usually, allocations are Bowman and Chrome. That's that's usually where allocations come across. They're really the only two product I've ever seen allocations. There's, yeah, I mean, Brian, it's that rookie logo that they can put on every product for the whole 2022 season in every one of I mean, their major league sticker release with Wander Franco rookies will sell. Um, I mean, anything they print, they're literally printing money for an entire year where they would only get... A tenth of it, not even a tenth, with with putting him in update. The days of seeing rookies in update are absolutely over. Update will be nothing more than rookie debut cards of all the players throughout the entire season. um, Through Series 1 and Series 2. And then they'll sprinkle in uh, a rookie. Like you'll see... uh, Yerman Mercedes and update this year, but they don't care. The 28 or 29 year old rookie, they that, that, that's they don't care about that. All right, this is one of their zero to 60 inserts. I always check if they're numbered because they're all different colors and wacky. It's not numbered, but it is Fernando Tatis. Uh, 70 years of tops. All star 86, 65 redos. Dylan Carlson. You'll definitely see Mercedes. Um, yeah, you'll see you'll see all these guys. Um, Jake Cronenworth, flagship rookie for the Padres.
<laughs> Brings you back to the twins, huh, Andrew? Yeah, they have, I mean, they have no reason to really hold any. They, they could put anybody in update. Well, not anybody. But they can put these guys in update now. Uh, Contreras, rookie for the Braves. Now with Wander Franco as their workhorse for Series 1. I mean, you don't need another. You don't need to hold anybody or another name. Mike Trout, significant statistics insert for the Angels. The die cut series has been continued. Uh, the numbers picked up where they left off. I believe the first was a 25 card, and then they picked up 25 more cards. All star 86, 65 Kirloff paper. Yeah, yeah, they'll 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 put Kelnick. Um, I mean, you never know who else is going to pop up. I don't know. Is there any chance uh, the Royals bring up Bobby Witt this season? Um, I mean, if it has Witt and Frank, oh, I mean Frank, it doesn't matter. If Franco by itself is just going to make that stuff absolutely insane. We have a backwards card. And that says Francisco Lindor for the Mets. So that would be a short print. Francisco Lindor, short print photo variation for the Mets. We'll check the code. 41 is a standard short print, and 42 is a super, and then they got some crazy ultra super jobber, and of course that doesn't want to work, so we're going to have to manually do it. Dial it in. 41. Francisco Lendor, short print photo variation for the New York Mets. Gold, Quan Yu Kim for the St. Louis Cardinals, numbered out of 2021. That is number 549 out of 2021. Oh, yeah, the, the, the Dean Kramer. This is the, this is the Dean Kramer case. How could I forget? I, should, I probably had, uh, Again, not numbered, but they put some crazy colors on these, so I got to check every time. 65 Joe Adele paper. Another Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates.
Michael, you got a, a huge jump start to that if uh, your Kremer rookie investment lot. Rainbow Foil, Jonathan Stever, a rookie for the Chicago White Sox. 70 years at tops, insert, Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs, Jose Ramirez, 86. Mountcastle, 65, paper. And another Jake Cronenworth for the Padres. Nope. And another Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. Looks like those two are going to run together. Got a backwards card coming up. Esteban Floriel, rookie for the Yankees. And numbered out of 299, which will be orange. Foil board, David Fletcher for the Angels. Twenty-seven out of two ninety-nine. Rainbow foil. I don't know what that says. I can't see it. Donovan Solano for the Giants. Significant statistics. Tatis. Oh, there's our boy, Mr. Kramer. Dean Kramer, eighty-six. I don't know if we saw that one yet. 65 papers. Mike Trout for the Angels. There you go, Michael. That's it. That's a uh, that's a special Dean Kramer. <laughs> Anybody can hit the base card. Up oh, there, speaking of them, talking into existence. L'Oreal, a rookie for the Yanks, and another backwards card. This time it says Ken Griffey Jr. I was trying to sell the Mariners to everybody. The Mariners just sit there all the time. Mariners, 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 Mariners. Ken Griffey Jr. short print. I believe this is the standard short print, 41 code, not 31 code, because I... I think I know what the super looks like. Ken Griffey Jr. 
short print, photo variation, 41 is standard, 42 is super, and that is a 41. But still a nice hit for the Mariners that nobody ever wants. Ken Griffey Jr. Rainbow Foil, Cole Hamels for the Atlanta Braves. 0-60, to 60, Hugh Darvish, again, I don't know. I mean, it's red on the bottom, so I don't know if it's supposed to be numbered. Well, I know it's not supposed to be numbered, but I got to check. There we go with an 86, Alex Kirloff. A rookie for the Twins. Oh, Andrew, you took them? Well, there you go. Good job. I do have another one live up there. I'm sure you guys all seen it. I, I tagged everybody. But uh, there is a, another live post up there now. 65 papers. Bobby Dalback. I started to update the teams, but some might have been taken since I started the break. So, if you grab a team now, don't pay until I confirm it, just in case uh, it's already been taken. All right, that's sleeve number one. Yeah, so far, Dean Kremer is the new Danny Duffy for Series 2. He seems to pop up in every pack, everywhere. All right. Sleeve number two. Let me just check real quick. Uh... A bunch of notifications here. All right, the Reds are off the board. We're good.
All right, here we go with, clean my glasses so I can see. Here we go with sleeve number two, the next eight hanger boxes of the break. Oh, if, if, if Franco hits another home run, uh, sell everything that you have. Sell it all. Buy yourself a new house. Oh, uh, just a double? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put some stuff on eBay tonight. Contreras, rookie for the Braves. Thought maybe I thought maybe he would put his name on it for us, Casey Mize. Thought we could sneak his name out on that. I still didn't bring out the top loaders from last night. Casey Mize for Detroit. Major League Material a Relic, Player Worn Memorabilia, a rookie for the Detroit Tigers. Congratulations. You received a Major League Material card from a Top Series 2. This will come top loaded, of course. Um, I will put that right. I'm going to put it down here, not on the showcase, or it's not a showcase. Grandstand, because uh, I don't want it to fall. Gary Sanchez for the Yankees, rainbow foil. Lewis Roberts, seven years of tops. Mookie Betts, all-star, 86. 65 papers. Joe Adele for the Angels. I think Franco has more of a... I think he'll have more of a um, a selling point than Dominguez. Believe I mean, well, Dominguez is going to move up the ranks. I mean, if Dominguez becomes the number one prospect in baseball and then comes out and does it, um, but that Wander Franco, Mar that Wander Franco market right now. I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have fun tonight on eBay, throwing some, throwing some cards up. I suggest if you have some decent cards, throw them up for ridiculous prices and see if they sell. Contreras for the Braves. Gold for the Texas Rangers. I don't know what it says. I'll have to wait till I get closer. Out of 2021. Jose, I don't know, Lecklerk, Lerk, Lerk. Sorry, Rangers fans and Leclerc family. That is number 1,005 out of 2021. Die cut Miguel Cabrera for the Tigers. 86 All-Star cards, which I hate. I'm just going to throw it out there. Pache, 65. Compusano for the Padres. Uh, 
Jose Garcia for the Reds. I feel like we haven't seen a Kirloff in a while. Come on, Facebook. Don't don't slow down now, Facebook. There we go. There's Kirloff. That's probably why I felt like we haven't seen him in a while. getting a little grainy it's got to be Facebook because my OBS I'm running strong but I'm keeping my eye on it sixty five chrome for the Cubs Chris Bryant gold for the Brewers Ryan Braun, numbered out of 2021. Definitely going to run out of top loaders. Nine eighty-seven out of 2021. Die cut Randy Johnson, Hank Aaron. Mike Trout. Again, 65 paper, so used to saying 52 paper. I have to forget about that really quick. Brian, how about uh, how about sales? Uh, are they are they obviously there's going to be more listings than sales? Um, Walsh cup card. Uh, is there people buying? I, I mean, I know there's people buying it. Rainbow Foil uh, Rookie for the Twins, Brent Rooker. I imagine only Andrew knows who this is. Nice Mike Trout, 70 years of tops insert for the Angels. Pache, 65. Cronin Orth. So are we saying Cabrian Hayes is in this? Is that what we figured out with this coalition? That's weird. Let's find out. He is. So Phil's case didn't have Cronenworth and Hayes next to each other? Well, not right next to each other, but three cards apart.
again, I said this last night, how many, how many, I mean, I know at least two cards that uh, Loriano has the same photo. I mean, it's not the same photo, obviously. It's in different ballparks, but Walsh Cup card. Contreras, a rookie for the Braves, Floriel, a rookie for the Yankees. And a really nice Chrome 65 Mike Trout for the Angels. Angels are having a nice break. 65 Trout Chrome and a 65 Adele Chrome. The landscapes were in the back and Kuloff and Cronenworth were together. Well, there's, there's typical tops for you. A, another orange foil board for the Atlanta Braves. Orange is numbered out of 299. This is number 99 out of 299. Carl Edwards Jr. Sounds like a restaurant. And a gold. A lot of, lot of hits in this. So far, a lot of hits. Definitely a lot more than Series 1. Mike Soroka, number 491 out of 2021 for the Braves. Is this one, is this better, Clay? There you go. Another terrible insert set. Tops put together. DH debuts. 86 All-Star. Cabrian Hayes. Paper. 65 for the Pirates. Seventeen team cards that they put together. And there's Cabrian Hayes by himself. That's where it's confusing to me. Yeah, it's that. I mean, you uh, you hit the nail on the head, Andrew. It's definitely less production. It's, it's it's the only possible way there's more hits is they print less base cards. Um, Jazz Chisholm for the Marlins. So the question is, and not that it really matters. Like it doesn't really affect the market too much. Did they overprint Series One? And regular print series two, or did they 
regular print series one and under print series two? That's the real question. According to my main distributor and other distributors, and even my rep at Tops, Series 2 had very, they had production problems, according to, uh, according to what they say. So I think they're telling me that they had a hard time printing it. Um, I don't know how, but uh, they had a hard time printing it, if that makes sense. Yeah, see, I don't know if they doubled the print run. I mean, I know there was an increase in it. Um, I definitely know Series 2, according to Tops, is underprinted because they cut my order tremendously um, from what I ordered and was expecting to what I got. And so does everyone else that I know got cut. So, And they say they just can't print it. Uh, 65 Chrome Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. Nice card. And a, another gold. It's like golds in every pack. George Springer for the Blue Jays. Again, I don't know if you, I don't know if you're going to believe this, this story. Uh, they say, we'll, we'll say word on the street is that tops. Tops and Panini, in fact. George Springer, gold, 2021. That is number 1772 out of 2021. Tops and Panini, according to this uh, much reliable source, do not have their own printers. They don't print their own cards, so they use a third-party printer. And apparently... Tops and Panini fight for printing space through the printer. Um, if that makes any sense to anybody. When I heard it, I said, I don't really know if I believe that. Joe Adele, paper. So that with the overproduction of Panini and Tops producing more and more, that they can't print enough because they only have one printer that prints both tops and panini cards doesn't sound right to me maybe it's true i don't know jake cronenworth so are we expecting another cabrian hayes come up here doesn't look like it It could. I mean, I. I mean, a another backwards card. This one is numbered out of one ninety nine. Suarez for the Reds in red. Red foil board, number out of 199 for the Reds. That is number 86 out of 199. Uh, Randy Arazarena, Future Stars, Rainbow Foil for the Rays. Lewis or Robert, significant statistics. If this guy ever comes back, it'd be nice. Sam Huff, 86, a rookie. 65 papers. Yeah.
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, you think about how much stuff Tops makes with all those Tops Now cards and Project Twenty Twenty cards. I would find it hard to believe that. A, I mean, I, no, I guess I would not find it hard to believe. I guess you know they rely on someone else to print the cards. Now maybe I don't know. All I know is who told me is in the big circle of production and distribution. And it seems very, 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 very legitimate information. Jazz Chisholm for the Marlins. Another, another backwards card. We got a home run challenge, Jorge Soler for the Kansas City Royals. And for the Philadelphia Phillies, a rookie, Mickey Moniak. Wasn't this guy like the second overall pick? At one point or something, does it say? Philly's number one draft pick. I thought they. Uh, I thought he was really high of a pick. Out of two ninety nine, thirty two out of two ninety nine. Mickey Moniak, a rookie. Another gold, Zach Greinke for the Astros. He was the number two pick, though, right, Andrew? 1589 out of 2021. Uh, DH debuts, Bryce Harper, All-Star 86, Paper 65s. And that is sleeve number two. Clean this up. We'll get into sleeve number three. Well, I got a... I don't know what you want to call it. Uh... I don't want to call it a press release, but I got a memorandum, if you would like to call it that, from Tops that they cut. Oh, it was the first overall pick? That's even, that's even worse. Um, that they cut a whole bunch of SKUs or configurations. So there will be no, like, fat packs. There will be. I know Tops Chrome this year will not have pinks. They're not printing the value packs. With the pink cards, they are not being printed. They cut that. They cut a, they cut a whole bunch of SKUs off of the order pre-order list and the order sheets for this year. So, again, they claim that, you know, with the pandemic and lack of staff, that... Um, they can't produce the cards. Again, I mean, I would find it hard to believe that Tops and Panini don't want to print cards. So it has to be some type of logistic problem. And it's not shipping. I know that. So it has to be production. Which 
once again when uh, my guy tells me they're running the printing presses 24-7 and they just can't print enough cards. And then they have huge contracts with like uh, fulfillment contracts with Targets and Walmarts. They have to fill those and that happens. Seems like a mess. We're only halfway there, James. We got... Panini prices are insane. I mean, they're they're absolutely insane. They're, I'm curious to see. I mean, you know that we're obviously we're breaking the Panini Prism um, cellos all this week uh, and this weekend. I'm curious to see how they uh, how they sell and how they break. I know. It wasn't easy for us to obtain. Um, but Prism is what everybody wants. So me and Phil had a talk. We said we just we were gonna do baseball, just baseball. And then we're like, well, I guess we'll give people what they want. Here we go with sleeve number three, the next eight, hang eight hanger boxes of the break. If I remember right, that, that this is a Dean Kremer indicator card. If I in my second break, it actually might be after uh, Walsh. He actually might come after Dean Kremer, if I'm not mistaken. There's Kirloff. I'm out of Beckett Shields, and I got to go to Cardboard Gold Card Savers, which are terrible. Terrible. I mean, not that terrible, but I don't like them. I like the Beckett Shields better. There is a nice Orion Mount Castle for the Orioles. Uh, if, if you could, if you could kind of see down right now, we got a nice card coming up. Here, I'll push it forward if anybody could see it. Anybody see that? Sixty-five Chrome Ryan Mountcastle for the Baltimore Orioles. All right, so we got an upside down Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. Tommy, if you're out there, keep your fingers crossed. So the, he has a short print, a super short print, and an ultra short print, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what any of them look like. Uh, so let's find out. I think it's just a short print. I don't know, though. Can't tell if that corner 
the corner is not soft, bottom left corner, but it's, I wouldn't call it razor sharp in my uh, unexpert eyes. Brian Hayes short print. Let's just check it together so everybody sees the 41 on it. Once I bring in this, there it is next to the Major League logo. Jeez, oh man, I'm using the wrong thing. I wonder you can't see. I'm using the wrong uh, slider here. 41. Everybody sees it. Perfect. Take it back. Cabrian Hayes. Short print. Rookie short print photo variation for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Still a very nice hit for the Pirates. Rainbow foil. I don't know what that says. Kendall Graveman for the Mariners. Significant statistics. Pete Alonzo, Mike Piazza, All-Star. 65 papers with Tatis. Sam Huff for the Rangers. For the Mets, Rainbow Foil. Jeez, oh man. I don't know what this guy's name is. There's no way I can tell you what that guy's name is. Down Betanasis. Mets pitcher, Rainbow Foil. 70 years of tops. 86 McKenzie. 65 papers. Yeah, the Pirates, uh, this has been a good Pirates case so far. Honus Wagner, short print last night for the Pirates. Cabrian Hayes, short print so far today. That's a camo. I know that. Looks like a gold, but it's not a gold. For the Giants. Oh, I was hoping we have a big name for a camo. Look at these top letters. Camo parallel for a guy's name I'm going to have to figure out. 
out of 25. That is number three out of 25. How come it can't be like Anthony Miller or Anthony Jones? Anthony Descafani? Descafani? Sorry, Giants fans and the Descafani family, if I'm uh, saying it wrong. Nice hit for the Giants. Low number parallel. Wait till I butcher the, uh, when I do the prism basketball break. Jeez, oh man, I won't be able to say half of the names. Die cut Ricky Henderson, Ken Griffey Jr. All-Star. Dylan Carlson, 65 paper. Half the team's cards in Major League Baseball. And a Cabrian Hayes. This box must have came from Pittsburgh, or this case. Jared Walsh. It's an easy card to blow by, I'll tell you that. That Kirloff card. Definitely does not stick out. As, as long as you pay before we break, Francisco, you don't you don't have to pay now. Um, when I'm going, once it's full, I'll I'll tag anybody, courtesy tag anybody for payments for the next one. So no no rush, as they say. Another orange. Not used to hitting this many uh, color from going to Series 1. Used to hit 1. I mean, look at, look at this top loader. They got plastic stuck in it. Come on, cardboard gold. I'll call you out. For the Washington Nationals and James. I don't know what that name says. I'm going to have to look closer because I have bad eyes. That is an orange foil board. 105 out of 299. Alex Avilia. Don't worry. I... I, I I get, I cleaned it all out for you. you got a per, this is a perfect one. This is the next one you don't want. I just saw the next top loader. This is the top loader you don't want. Thanks, cardboard gold. Which brings me. Let me grab some top loaders. Please hold.
me let me throw James's card in a brand new open top loader. We'll we'll throw that one out. I cleaned it out though, so but this one is uh, perfect. There you go, James. I mean, come on. Rainbow foil for the New York Yankees. Luis Severino. Freddie Freeman, statistics card. Braylon Marquez for the Cubs. 86, 65 papers. All the team cards. And another Cabrian Hayes. Jeez. They're going to knock the uh, top shelf over. Dean Kramer. Estevan Floriel, rookie, the other direction, wasn't expecting it. And I imagine this is a parallel because it's blue, or am I crazy? I don't know. I'll put it in a sleeve and a top loader anyway. We're going to have to pull another one to see if it's blue parallel or not. It's not numbered, but they have the stupid blue parallels. I'm not 100% sure. We'll go with the blue non-numbered Roberto Clemente. Die cut parallel again for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Off and running. The Pirates are off and running. Need a bigger grandstand here. I guess I could start shrinking some cards down here. Seventy years of tops. Randy Arazarena insert. Aaron All Star eighty six. 65 papers. Campisano. Jose Garcia for the Reds. Another Jazz Chisholm for the Miami Marlins. Does that mean Kirloff's in this run here or not? I 
Nope. Gold for the Texas Rangers. Nick Solak, Future Stars, numbered out of 2021. That is number 995 out of 2021. Die cut Bob Gibson for the Cardinals. Chipper Jones, All-Star. 65 paper, Dylan Carlson, a rookie. There is... Cronenworth again. Well, not again. I'm worried if I'm wondering if Cabrian Hayes is there again. Because that would put Hayes basically two to one to Cronenworth the way this coalition goes. Which means the Pirates should be about $350 for the spot if you're going to get 10 rookies. I'm just messing with you. But, uh, no, that's why that one was by itself. This should be Kirloff, right? When Walsh is, starts the pack. No, I made that up too. That is not true. I don't know where Kirloff is. Uh, Martinez, a rainbow foil for the Cardinals. 70 years of tops, insert. And a, another Kirloff, 86. Like I said... I imagine these 86s are going to be a little bit easier to hit than they were in Series 1. Because I think they're just heavily rookie loaded, where before they were not. Sixty-five papers. Kill off again. I was going to say, isn't this the same run at Cronenworth is in? Now, does this one have a Cabrian Hayes with it? Just so everybody knows, as normal, I always do a recap of all the hits and a count of the grade already flagship rookies. Let's find out. Nope. No Cabrian Hayes that time. Is this the, the coalition with Kirloff? Contreras. Nope. I tried. Gold. Diaz for the Rays. I didn't think that was part of the design. That is definitely lifted, if you see that. Let me see if I can give it a little one over. But that gold is definitely lifted for the rays. It 
Diaz, numbered out of 2021, 1914 out of 2021. Seventy years of tops. Insert Derek Jeter, Tatis All Star, sixty five redo papers. Sam Huff, and that does it for sleeve number three. Clean this up, and we'll get into the last sleeve of the break. but surely filling up that next break. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we'll definitely be breaking it tomorrow. I don't know if we'll be able to fit it in tonight. Anybody want to give me their uh, their feedback on Series 1? I have about... There's Jazz Chisholm on top again. I have about 20 hanger cases left. 20. So we'll, we'll just round that off at 20. I might have a little bit less or I might have a little bit more. We'll just take 20. Do we have any interest in breaking it anymore or are we kind of over Series 1? If we're over Series 1, I'm probably just going to... I'm probably going to move it um, you know, unopened and not break it. Are we, uh, do we still have interest in breaking Series 1? Are we kind of over it? Any feedback is appreciated. That's one person retired. Brock, you want all 20 cases? Jazz Chisholm. We could do a 20 case break. 
That would be interesting, right? It would take probably two weeks. It would take two weeks to break 20 cases, Clay. Cases. Cases. If we did a 20 case break, it would take. I mean, I'll just bounce. We're not going to do a 20 case break. But let's just talk ridiculous. If we did a 20 case break, it would honestly take, I don't know, how much could I break a day? It would take a week, seven days, and then it would probably take a month to sort it. And it would they would have to come in shoe boxes. It sounds like a terrible idea. It, it sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Three weeks sorting time. You, 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 the season might be over the time you get your Series 1. Stadium club, I'm trying to lock up now. Again, I had 20 cases of um, blasters of stadium club ordered, and then they just cut it again by a massive amount. So I'm, that's why I was on the phone today, trying to uh, get the stadium club worked out. Um, it releases Hobby, I think, Friday. But... Uh, Retail is going to be behind like normal. Uh, by the way, this is sleeve number four, the last eight hanger boxes of the break. There's Kirloff. The only time I didn't say it is when he pops up. There's Kirloff. Yeah, Ron, I was going to hold... Uh, I have... Uh, note I have is a case of uh, Series 1. I have a case of Gravity Feed that I was going to do as like a, some type of just at-cost cheap break um, for the whole case. Just to kind of uh, thank everybody from for our Series 1 run and maybe... Oh, look, oh, look at that. Everybody see that? Oh, and, then, and then advanced stats. Hold on, we got to back up. Advanced stats for the Mets. Edwin Diaz, numbered out of 300. That's the third Dean Kremer... Rainbow foil in this case. The third. Third. Two sixty out of three hundred. Edwin Diaz advanced statistics parallel for the Mets. The third Dean Kremer in the entire case. This is the first one of this half, but we hit two in the other half of the case. Uh I believe, yeah, that's just part of the 70 years at tops. That's not a parallel. That is of, of that card's design. Jazz Chisholm, 65 paper. Alec Baum, 65 paper. Compusano.
Jose Garcia, Sam Huff, Yeah, Andrew, I did get way too excited for that that thing, Kramer. It just, I find Topps Coalition so amazingly interesting. <laughs> again, again, is there somewhere, is there somewhere somebody breaking a, ha a half or a case of Series 2 going, that's our third Cabrian Hayes rainbow foil. I just don't think it happens that way. That's what makes me question it. Contreras, rookie. Home run challenge for the Mets. Francisco Lindor. Bauer statistics card. Uh, Stan Musial die cut. Arenado All Star eighty six sixty five papers I was going to put together some mixers, uh, Andrew. Um, I won't say a lot of people, but I'm going to definitely say the majority of people in breaks, uh, mixers only do well, obviously, if you do random, you can't do a PYT, uh, mixer. I mean, you can, but it's impossible to price out. It's just, it's designed, a mixer is designed to be a random so that kind of you mix up the, what you're breaking. So kind of every team gets as a chance at some sort of hit. Um, I don't know, traditionally, uh, people prefer PYT breaks, uh, I don't know what, what percentage, a lot more than a random, so, uh, I mean, I'm not against anything, I'll, I'll break out, we, we can mix up, um, any type of mixers, any type of different breaks. Obviously, filling it is a different story, but uh, uh, Brock, no autos out of this. I mean, we pulled the auto last night. I forgot even who it was. Uh, Bo Burrows. But no auto has came out of this. Sixty-five Chrome Francisco Lindor for the Mets. A backwards card number to ninety. I'm sorry, four ninety-nine. Thought it looked like ninety-nine for the Colorado Rockies that nobody ever wants in a PYT. Out of 499, 471 Tapia for the Rockies. Yeah, I agree. I agree with mixing Bowman in there. I mean, that's that is the way it, it evens stuff out. Um, I mean, we could try it towards the uh, towards the end of the season, towards uh, you know, a little bit towards the end of the season because people pop out of uh, out of the series, make things a little bit more interesting. Uh, the market will go down a little bit, so we don't have to pay any crazy prices. I could probably get us back in, even at a better price towards the end of the season, just to do some mixers. Uh, for the Blue Jays, gold out of 2021. 20, Hai Jin Aru, 354 out of 2021. 20, yeah, exactly, right, right around playoff time. Uh, maybe I'll throw together some just 
some interesting mixers, like you said, with some Bowman in there because it makes uh, some of the different teams in the MLB more interesting, you know, um, because of the Bowman hits. DH debuts, Yelich All-Star, 86, 65 papers. I mean, I'm definitely going to keep some Series 1 cases, just um, to, like you said, towards the end of the season. You never know who pops out. Plus, it's kind of fun to get back into Series 1 at the end of the season. Um, but kind of like right now, like I was going to list like a Series 1 break on eBay, and then I'm like, I really don't want to waste my time because it's just, there's too many other things people are interested in right now to break. And I really don't want to waste four hours breaking, sorting, and shipping something for nothing. There's another kill-off for the Twins. So I'll spend that time. Uh, I'll move some of my extra product and hopefully get some Stadium Club with it. Um, some more Series 2. Um, I mean, I have some chrome but i mean it's just it's it, the, the price on chrome right now is just it's so stupid it's the best way to describe it is it, it's 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 stupid the price is stupid so it has to break it at a, at a ridiculous break price uh i don't know what we got here this is a, a relic i think yeah it's a relic i was trying to see if he had his name on it i was trying to get his name on it for somebody sam huff Major League Material, Black Parallel. You would have think I would have got the other top loaders when I got these top loaders, but I didn't. Come on, Sam. All right, that's the wrong sleeve. Out of 199, Sam Huff, a rookie, Major League Materials. That is number... 183 out of 199. I'll sleeve and top load this. Afterwards, also. Rainbow foil for the Pirates. Kella? K-E-L-A? I don't know. Kela? Seventy years of baseball or tops. Insert Judge Springer eighty six. Trout sixty five. Pache rookie sixty five. Paper. Is this the Cronin's worth? Cronin's worth. There it is. Now, is Cabrian Hayes here? Nope. Strange. Certain packs, he's there, and certain packs, he's not there. So, our near... Our near uh, baseball future will be Series 2 and uh, Stadium Club. It looks like we have a true blue Father's Day parallel coming up. Let's hope for a big name star or a rookie. Let me let, let's let's try and slow roll it here, and then we'll come back. The bottom's got a 
appeal on it already, so let's not hope it's a super big name, or we're going to have to send it back to Tops. I don't know who that is. For the Royals, let me get through. The, let me get through the rest of the pack, and we'll get we'll get to that. Home run challenge, Alex Bregman for the Astros. And Father's Day again. It's lifted in the same spot. This whoever packed this case is getting fired. They they had to get fired. They did a horrific job packing this case. Collate in this case, pack in this case. This, this must have been this guy's last day. Out of 50 for the Royals. Twenty-one out of fifty. Cordero for the Kansas City Royals. Seventy years of tops, eighty-six all-star paper, sixty-five, yeah, sixty-five Cabrian Hayes paper. I feel like this is going to be the Cronensworth again. Every time I see that card, I think it's Cronensworth. Looks like it just missed it, because that's the back end, which means Cabrian Hayes might be here. Nope. I'm wrong on both ends. I won't guess anymore. Yeah, Stadium Club Chrome was a, was a nice release for retail. Uh, nice value release, I should say. There was definitely some nice value involved in that. So I'm going to do my best to get a nice mix of uh, some of the stuff coming up. I do have blasters that came in today, FedEx. Uh, my hangers came out on an 18-wheeler truck. It seemed a little overkill for the little pallet they were on, but... Um, I do have the blasters we can do for Series 2 also. Then I got Stadium Club coming. A backwards orange out of $2.99 for the Angels again. Two, oh, oh, 283 out of 299 Andrew Haney or Heaney Significant statistics All right so I'm going to guess this is the blue parallel what do you think what's every, what's everyone's opinion let's look Neither of them are numbered, but they're right next to each other. And you would think this would be the blue parallel, but it also looks exactly like the Brewers colors. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sleeve it up anyway. But this is why the blue unnumbered parallels by Tops are stupid. Put a number on them or don't make them. Make them, put a number on them out of 10,000, 100,000. I don't care. Significant statistics. We're going to call this a blue parallel. It might not be. Um, Devin Williams for the Milwaukee Brewers. Ripken All-Star, 65 papers. Huff, Ooh. 
I was really hoping we'd hit another autograph. I really wanted to play the autograph game. There's a Kirloff. Lewis, arise for the Minnesota Twins. Andrew, is it arise? Is it Arias? Is it Arias? Which one is it? Seven years at tops, insert. 86, insert for the Diamondbacks. Dalton Varsho, a rookie. 65 papers. Joe Adele, rookie for the Angels. All I know is this guy's Brent Brooker broken arm. Got it. That's I'll remember that. Compusano. Arise. Got it. I wish the prices of his rookie cards would arise because I got a bunch of them. Jose Garcia, rookie for the Reds. Last hanger box of the break. Good luck, everybody. Again, I'll do a recap when we're done. Floriel, a rookie. And a backwards green foil board. Looks like Rosario for the Cleveland Indians. Two thirty five out of four ninety nine. For Cleveland. Rainbow Foil Callahan or yep, Cal uh, maybe Calhoun, not sure, but we'll say uh, for the Diamondbacks, Rainbow Foil. Azuna, 0 to 60. Again, they always got random colors that make me think it's numbered, but it's not. Crochet, 86. Mike Trout again. Pache again. This is Cronenworth, right? I, I'm going to say it every time. Nope, missed him again. And that does it for the break. Let's do a recap. what we got going on here. Rockies are off the board. Uh, Michael, I think... Uh, the Twins are still alive. Michael got the twins and and you missed the Nats. 
So what do we got? What do, what do we got left here on this thing? I'll have to update it then. I'll update that list after the break for the next break. Let's do a recap. Those are the cards, again, that I pull aside. Second tier guys. Uh, 65 papers, 65 chromes. Um, you heard me. Second tier rookies. Floreal, Huff. Garcia, Contreras, etc., etc., etc. Actually, I'm going to put these over here. Then we're going to go to these. Relics. Oh, got the wrong window open. I can't see if anyone's talking to me. Relics, a major league material, numbered out of 199. Sam Huff for the Rangers. And rookie and major league material Casey Mize for Detroit. Again, they'll be sleeved and top loaded after this. Let's start with our gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine gold. All numbered out of 2021. Rue for the Blue Jays. Diaz for the Rays. Solak for the Rangers. Granke for the Astros. Springer for the Blue Jays. Soroka for the Braves. Braun for the Brewers. Leclerc. For the Rangers and Kim for the Cardinals, all gold numbered to 2021. Blue parallels uh, insert as far as I can tell. Uh, Devin Williams, significant statistics for the Brewers, and Roberto Clemente die cut for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Foil boards. What do we got color wise here? Jeez, man. You got more orange than green. Red, numbered out of 199. Suarez for the Reds. Orange, numbered out of 299. Edwards for the Braves, Fletcher for the Angels, Heaney or Heaney for the Angels, for the Nationals, Avilia for the Phillies, Maniac, Green out of 499, Tapia, and for the Indians, Rosario out of 499. Uh, low number or other number parallels. We had one advanced stats. Edwin Diaz for the Mets. We had a Father's Day out of 50. Cordero for the Royals. And a nice camo for the Giants numbered out of 25. Desclafani, Desclafani, Desclafani. It's numbered out of 25. All right. Uh, 52, wrong. 65 chromes. Nice Ryan Mountcastle, rookie for the Orioles. And for the Angels, a double hit. Mike Trout, 65 chrome, and a Joe Adele, 65 chrome. 86s. We had two Kirloffs for the Twins and one Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. I'm going to put that up there. Short prints, we had three. Uh, we had one Ken Griffey Jr. for the Mariners, 
and one Francisco Lindor for the Mets. Count of our, our rookies. Keel off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's good. Eight. It's like Sesame Street. Eight. That's a lot. I can't even hold them. There's eight grade ready flagship rookies for the twins and Alex Kirloff. Cronenworth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Cronenworth great grade ready flagship rookies for the Padres. Jazz Chisholm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Chisholm grade ready rookies for the Miami Marlins. And Cabrian Hayes starts off with a nice rookie short print photo variation. Good start. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven grade ready flagship rookies, Cabrian Hayes for the Pittsburgh Pirates. No problem, Brock. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody for the fill, I appreciate everybody for the break. Uh, we have another one live up there now. I'll update the teams. Uh, that will that'll break tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure it'll fill and we'll break that tomorrow. And um, maybe I'll, I'll do some type of, I, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Uh, look for some posts for some uh, more breaks. And uh, I appreciate everybody once again. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night and the rest of your week if I don't talk to you, and we'll go from there. Have a good one.